Hi, old and I'm Z here again, guys. Today, we're doing our hurricane prepping video. I'm a hurricane preps. Now, uh, I'm here. I'm in Pennsylvania, as a lot of you know. And uh, we got a pretty major storm, apparently, heading up the coast. And uh, they're, they're touting it on TV as being the largest storm to ever hit in recorded history. Don't ask me. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But they're expecting widespread power outages and all that stuff. So I decided to prep up a little bit. So what we got here? Got ourselves some water. Uh, main. This is not for drinking, this water. Uh, drinking water. I got drinking water up here. Bottles. I got all kinds of drinking water. <clears throat> More drinking water up there. Drinking water in the fridge, of course. And uh, I got several cases in the basement. Uh, this water is mainly for either flushing the toilet or maybe washing dishes, things like that. Um, they're talking if the uh, power goes out, it might possibly go out for a long period of time. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, basically because what they're saying is they're looking at widespread power outages in the Northeast. And uh, if you live out in a country like I do, you're the last ones to get your power back. So, anywho, I decided to uh, get some water prepared just in case we need it. Um, as far as... Heat and whatnot goes. It's supposed to get real cold after the storm rolls through. I got some wood in here. And that's probably enough wood to last. I don't know. We'll say four four days to a week. And uh, I mean, I got this in here out of the rain where it's going to stay dry. <clears throat> so I'll be able to heat my home as well as cook on my my wood stove with this um and i also went ahead and i uh tarped up my wood pile so i'll be able to get more dry wood if i need it um one of the main things i was going to show you is because uh, i have to go to work no matter what happens i'm expected to be at work um so i'll show you my my hurricane my hurricane car kit the hurricane car kit. Well, we're seeing we got some jumper cables in the hurricane car kit. Got my bag here. Um, in the bag, got some first aid stuff here. Uh, these are big, heavy bleed stop type deals. Um, <clears throat> I have my full medical kit in here. I don't always carry my full medical gear, my medical roll. Uh, Got my camping stove, which is a uh, MSR pocket rocket. Got something to boil water in. About three or four MREs in there. <coughs> uh, actually, I got four MREs in there. Exactly. Got water. My pocket rocket. One bottle, two bottles, three bottles, four bottles, five bottles, and six bottles. Got my knife. Got a couple of wood saws, hand wood saws in there. My laplander and my buck tree saw. Axe. Rain gear, pants. Jacket, reflective vest, got my tarp that I always carry, and I got my chainsaw. Chainsaw. Why? You got a chainsaw and an axe. And I also got fuel for my chainsaw. This is pre mixed non ethanol stuff from Sears. I had a uh, 
it's this stuff's better for your saw small gas engines uh, that stuff that's got the ethanol in it that you get the gas station is really crap uh, it, it, it really uh, boogers up small engine but I got my chainsaw in here in case I come across down trees and I'm unable to <coughs> either get home or get to work uh, it's more for getting home than it is for getting to work I mean, I think if I come across a couple big trees down the road on my way to work, I'm just going to have to say, sorry, I tried. Uh, it's not happening. Um, but, you know, if it's something small, I might cut it out of the way, keep going down the road, um, get to work. But uh, when I'm coming home tomorrow is when it's supposed to be at its worst around here. So I more want to get home than I want to get to work during this storm. Um, Got some bar oil here, chain and bar. And there we go. I got always in this car fire kit. It's always in here. <clears throat> that's basically uh got some more fire kit over here. That's basically tinder there. Um, <clears throat> both are tinder. That's tinner. This has uh, dried out wood chips and wood shavings as well as uh, dryer lint, things like that. So if I need to make a fire, I can make a fire. Um, other things I'm going to throw in here, just because it's supposed to drop down and get cold, I'm going to be throwing my sleeping bag in here. And I'll probably throw in a couple more bottles of water and some other drinks and some food. I'll do that before I leave. I'll basically be taking my lunch. I always take my lunch to work anyway, so uh, I usually take breakfast, lunch, and dinner with me because I never know when I'm coming home and when I'm not. But yeah, there we go. That's my uh, Hurricane Sandy kit. And uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, I'm a little heavy on the flashlights today. Road flares. I should always have road flares, but I don't typically have them. Um, I got some today. So I should be set to go. Full tank of gas. And uh, I will also be throwing in... Actually, I probably won't. I won't be throwing in any. I got some extra gas. A couple smaller ones I was going to throw in the car in case I need them. But I got a full tank of gas. And I can get to working back on a quarter tank. Quarter to a half tank. So, so I should be set. I should be ready to go. There shouldn't be any reason why I need extra gas, unless I want to help out somebody else. And I don't know if I help them out with gas or not. Uh, the medical kit, I got my full-on medical kit just in case I happen upon somebody who's in trouble. And <clears throat> I got it pretty heavy with the blood-stopping stuff today. I don't usually carry that heavy blood-stopping ability, um, but I threw it all together today. Just in case, you know, I don't know what I'm going to run in tomorrow. Um, other things I've done to prepare for this hurricane in the house wise, I just basically, I got all my stuff together. It should be together, but it's not always. All my propane, where I got my camping stove. So I got a camping stove, and I also got one of those Coleman lanterns that runs off of these. So I got them all lined up. <clears throat> I would like to have a couple more. I'm not going to need them. I mean, that'll last me more than a week. Um, but I'd like to have a couple more just in case they do run through them. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. And uh, I can also run my uh, my Weber grill. Got a grill. It runs off of the propane tanks as well. So in case I need to cook in the house one way or another, I've got my camp stove. This is basically like a range, a gas range. It's got two burners on it. So I can use that to boil whatever make soup boil water <clears throat> just use a frying pan on whatever i need to do i can do with that um i want to cook some meat or something throw it on the grill and i also got my wood stove i can cook off of so i'm pretty well set i'm ready to go um like right now hell there's nothing to see there's nothing going on you know the wind's a little bit of wind real little bit of wind but they're saying it's going to come and it's going to hit us pretty hard starting sometime tonight so we'll see. Um, you know, I'm sure it's nothing compared to what, you know, that's a level one hurricane. It ain't nothing compared to what they get down in uh, Florida and whatnot. But because 
basically what we're getting is a soaking rain right now, loosening up the ground. And then tonight and tomorrow until Tuesday, we're going to be pounded with sustained 40-mile-an-hour winds with gusts up to 70, they say. Um, like I said, down south, that's nothing. People are used to it, and not only people, but the plants are used to that down there. <clears throat> In Florida, and Georgia, and Atlanta, North Carolina, you know, they're used to getting hit by those, so their plant life is ready for it. We're not used to that around here. So these big old trees, this old growth, <clears throat> that's the only one I really got to worry about going anywhere. You know, these things aren't used to those types of winds after having such soft ground. You know, so we're getting a soaking rain now, and we're supposed to get up to six to eight inches tomorrow. So I'm not too worried about flooding around here because we're up pretty high. Uh, but on my way to work, I'm going to be going through a lot of areas that are prone to flooding. Um, but I am worried about trees being down, taking out the power lines, and blocking my way. Mostly blocking my way getting home tomorrow, but you know, also blocking my way to work. So, yep, we're ready to go. Got the freezer and the fridge on high. That's another thing. If you ever hear it might lose power, just tur turn your fridge and your freezer up a little bit. You know, make it a little colder than normal. <clears throat> that way it'll stay colder. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll try to keep you guys informed when the hurricane starts and make some videos every now and then. Let you know what's up. And uh, anything exciting happens, I'll try to make sure I get you guys there. All right, MZ, signing out. Peace.